Hi everybody! So, it is that most wonderful time of the year. As you might have been able to notice by our outfits, it's not Easter, it's not Christmas, it's Halloween. And since it's Halloween, we are back with one of our favorite video traditions, Halloween Mad Libs! After quite a bit of Mad Libs hiatus, uh, it's nice to get back to doing some Mad Libs. Who would like to go first? You can choose, I guess. <laughs> or we have our big book of Halloween Mad Libs. <laughs> I need a place. In a cave. I need a noun. Ballerina slippers. <laughs> I need an animal. I was gonna say teriyaki chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the live chicken who called him had teriyaki sauce. Verb past tense. Streamed. <laughs> Verb ending in S. Kicks. Part of the body, plural. Elbows. Number. 68.7. Now. <laughs> Forklift. <laughs> First name, male. Dominic. <laughs> now. Jumbotron. <laughs> Verb. Whitened. Yeah. Verb ending in S. Sips. Adjective. Dusty. <laughs> Noun. Corn dog. <laughs> Adjective. Silky. Ooh. Noun. Fork. <laughs> Occupation. Radiologist. <laughs> All right. This one is Riddle of the Sphinx. <laughs> ah. <laughs> According to legends of In a Cave, <laughs> the Sphinx had ballerina slippers of a human <laughs> and the body of a teriyaki chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she streamed any travelers who couldn't answer the following question. What creature kicks on four elbows <laughs> in the morning, 68.7 legs at noon, and three in the forklift? <laughs> Only the hero Dominic gave the correct answer, leading to the Sphinx's Jumbotron. <laughs> Man, he said, because a baby has to whiten before he can walk. <laughs> Then he sips on two legs until he's dusty, <laughs> at which point he uses a corn dog to keep his balance. <laughs> the silky sphinx was mad that the riddle had been solved and threw a huge temper fork. Talk about a drama radiologist. <laughs> Man, those radiologists and those silky sphinx. Oh, that was yeah. a good one. I, I, was gonna, I was just about to say the title. <laughs> I got really excited. Adjective. Spongy. Adjective. Weakened. Verb. Plunge. Plural noun. Candy corns. Noun. Doctor. Person in room, male. Paul Dano! I knew you were gonna say that! I knew it! I knew you were gonna say it! <laughs> He's here in spirit. Silly word. Kazumozoink. Verb ending in ing. Contemplating. A place. A sonic draw through. Ugh. Verb. Sorry, no, adverb. Uh. I get really Atrociously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Occupation plural. Massage therapists. Number. One. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Adjective. Sensual. Mm. Person in room. Mm. Roof. <laughs> Adjective. Shadowy. Noun. But. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Um. Last name. Guard Julio. Guard Julio. <laughs> Noun. Steamboat. And a noun. Observatory telescope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if we're ready for this one either. <laughs> now the title is Most Famous Mermaids. No, <laughs> Here is a list of some of the most spongy mermaids in history. <laughs> the sirens of Greek mythology were weakened but dangerous creatures who would plunge sailors with their candy corn. <laughs> Causing Dr. Rex. Yeah. They appear in both Paul Dano's Odyssey <laughs> and Ovid's 
Kazoomble Zoink. <laughs> the Contemplating Mermaids of Wiki Wachi Springs in the Sonic Drive Thru <laughs> are atrociously famous. In the 1960s, these female massage therapists <laughs> drew nearly one tourist per year. <laughs> The most sensual mermaid mm -hmm. in the world is probably Ruth. You got that right. The main character of the animated film, The Shadowy Mermaid, <laughs> based on the butt tail by Hans Christian Gargiulio. <laughs> the film tells the story of a teenage steamboat <laughs> who is willing to do whatever it takes to become human, even if it means losing their observatory telescope. Not <laughs> I need an adjective. Tacky. <laughs> Something alive. Plural. Megalodons. <laughs> they're alive. You never know. Have you seen the movies? <laughs> Type of food. Plural. Pumpkin seeds. <laughs> Noun. Grandfather clock. <laughs> Silly word. Philanthologically. <laughs> Philanthologically. <laughs> I was about to say an actual word, but I'm just like, no, it's. it's, it's See if I can read and pronounce that correctly when we go back. <laughs> Verb. Dove. Or diving. Dove. Well, Dive. Noun. That's a password. <laughs> T-bone. Part of the body. Plural. Shoulder blades. <laughs> Type of food. Plural. Coleslaw. <laughs> Number. Two million eight. <laughs> Type of food. Plural. Weenies. Ah, I'm going to that. Noun. Just now? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I was going for the plural. Then <laughs> he's looking at me. I was like, he's gonna say it. <laughs> what was it? A noun? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just a noun. A staring contest. <laughs> Part of the body. <laughs> Head. <laughs> Verb. Dreadlocks. <laughs> Type of food. Plural. <laughs> Hams. <laughs> Plural nouns. Nintendo switches. <laughs> and verb past tense. Chucked. <laughs> this one is candy commercial. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> Are you tired of handing out the same tacky candy corn every year on Halloween? Do all the megalodons skip your house when they trick or treat? Oh. Because the pumpkin seeds you hand out are as tasty as an old grandfather clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on down to Ted's Philanthologically Candy Shop. Our candy experts lovingly dive each delicious T-bone with their own shoulder blades. Oh. All our coleslaws are covered in 2,008,000% yummy yumminess. <laughs> and Ted's lollipops are filled with chewy weenies. <laughs> Let you blow your biggest staring contest you've ever seen. <laughs> what did you write? Once the trick or treaters see you pull out one of our famous head breakers, they'll dreadlocks with delight. One bite of any of our hams. The kids in your neighborhood will say your family hands out the best Nintendo Switches they've ever chucked. <laughs> wow, this commercial got really graphic. Have some candy. Adjective. <laughs> Don't do that when wearing this costume. Confusing. Noun. Cheese wheel. Mm, yum. Adjective. <laughs> Hairy. Adjective. Jiggly. Plural noun. Disco enthusiasts. <laughs> noun. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Adjective. Sloppy. Adjective. Majestic. Plural noun. My little ponies. Plural noun. Pez dispensers. <laughs> Part of the body plural. Uh... Hmm. Nipples. Noun. Butter. <laughs> Adverb. Slyly. Adjective. Chamber pot. No, it's not as a noun. <laughs> Medieval. This one's called, How to Perform a Seance. Oh, Jesus. Do you want a home confusing, home 
and not a haunted cheese wheel. <laughs> Gather some hairy friends together late at night <laughs> and have a jiggly seance <laughs> to get rid of an, any evil spirits or ghostly disco enthusiasts <laughs> who just can't seem to cross over. First, you'll need a wise pumpkin pie <laughs> to preside over the gathering. He or she should have experience talking to sloppy spirits. <laughs> Second, Make sure to invite friends who feel really majestic about being there. No scaredy My Little Ponies allowed. <laughs> Once your friends arrive, light some Pez dispensers to set the mood. <laughs> Sit next to one another and hold nipples. <laughs> this is a weird seance. <laughs> Anything can happen in a seance. Then the medium should say, Dear spirit, if you can hear us, tap three times on the button. <laughs> if all goes slyly, your medieval house will be ghost-free in no time. Aww. <laughs> I think this is one that we should have acted out. <laughs> well, everybody, thank you so much for supporting our channel. We hope you liked this video. Uh, yeah, I'm coming at you with this live stream. Thank you for joining us for another wonderful, wacky, and weird Halloween Mad Libs here with us two folks who are completely normal and not at all wacky. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to look at all of our other videos, uh, past Halloween Mad Libs videos, past Halloween unboxing videos, past hair videos, past whatever videos. We do all kinds of stuff that's sure to entertain you in one way or another. If you like what you saw, make sure to like comment, and subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned to our channel for upcoming videos, whatever they may be. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. Is there anything you'd like to add? Riddle me this. What is green and black and clingy all over? Riddle! <laughs> well, everybody, we hope you have a very, very happy Halloween. Uh, whether you're dressing up, going trick-or-treating, just handing out candy, just watching horror movies, or even if you don't celebrate Halloween, and uh, we hope you enjoy this video on this time of year either way. Happy Halloween, one and all. Don't forget your cling wrap, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. We need to take like your pictures so badly. This is so cool. I can't. I just can't get over it.